It was a horrible night on the 28th of March for passengers traveling on a train from Abuja to Kaduna when bandits attacked and killed some of them, kidnapping hundreds. One of those whose life was cut short was a 29-year-old dental doctor, Chinelo Mwado Megafu. Dr. Chinelo was at the face of the train attack because of her bravery. She tweeted the catastrophic moment and it generated reactions from Nigerians and around the world. Our correspondent, Paul George, has more. It was a solemn moment as family, friends, and well-wishers from far and near thronged Shepherd Hill Baptist Church, Obanikoro, to pay their last respect to the mega fools for the sudden death of their daughter, Dr. Chinelu Mwandu Megafu. Engineer Ifai Megafu, the father of the late Dr. Chinelu Mwandu Megafu, played his saxophone in a tribute to her daughter. In his farewell message, he eulogized her daughter and said he has forgiven the terrorists who killed her child and abducted many others. Finally, the past three weeks have been quite traumatic, a serving member of this government introduced himself to me and I told him, I know you sir, I see you on TV, called ostensibly to, to commiserate, but the next thing he said, completely political, forgiving them all, all of them. I have also forgiven the country that enabled all this to happen. But you both need the forgiveness of God, and that is the one that comes. Heaven knows about that. The senior pastor of Shepherd Hill Baptist Church, Reverend Dr. Israel Christy Leary, in his message said Dr. Chinelo had lived a life and that those who are still alive should make heaven their goal. Discovered that Chinelo had a way of becoming first in many areas. She was the first of engineer Megapo's children. She was the first to visit the earthly Jerusalem and sadly the first in the family to see the heavenly Jerusalem. But have you realized that the only degree Chinelu is taking away is BA, not a MBBS or whatever they call it. And what is that BA? Not Bachelor of Arts. He's born again. Other sympathizers praised her bravery even in death. Dr. Chinelu was a committed member of the profession who graduated from the prestigious University of Port in 2017, and she has served this nation meritoriously. For us, it's a big loss, especially with the fact that we are very, very few in the profession in Nigeria. It is with deep pain in my heart that I write, Jim. You were a very smart, intelligent young doctor who was humble and willing to learn as much as you could from your consultants and senior colleagues. You were not lazy. So we're not the same class, but we graduated the same set. Chino was very hardworking, dedicated. She was never punished. She was always punctual in whatever she was doing. She always kept a smile, diligent, and um, dedicated. So basically, this loss is a very big loss to us and to our set as a whole. And we pray and that God will comfort the family and give them the courage to bear this loss. As Nigeria continues to battle with banditry and kidnapping, Nigerians are in doubt whether the government will apprehend and prosecute the terrorists and rescue others who are in captivity. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.